I am making spaghetti squash. Uh, this is my first time recording one of my recipes for you guys, and I hope you like it. So if you like it, comment below, like it, subscribe, tell your friends, share it, and I will bring you more healthy, delicious recipes, okay? All right, let's get started. Here's our spaghetti squash. Got a little pasta sauce, some Parmesan cheese, onions, spinach, garlic. Got a grater for my cheese, a pan for the squash. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this squash and I'm going to put it on a pan. So put it on the pan. So you're gonna grab a knife and you're going to stab it. I'm doing this one-handed. This is totally not safe, but you get the idea. So I'm going to stab this really quick. Make it for 375 in the oven. Next, you're going to heat up a pan. I have my cast iron skillet on medium. I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Oh yeah, that's a lot of oil. So a little bit of oil and toss that around in my pan. Let that heat up. So now we're going to take our onions and garlic. I like to put garlic first. We're going to put it in here. I normally would not do it like this, but it's one-handed cooking here. So I'm gonna do that first. We'll get that nice and sauteed up. There. Okay. It doesn't take long for that to start to like brown and things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, okay, be careful. Yeah, buddy, get that flame. So now, I'm going to add this little bit of spinach. I know it may seem like a lot of spinach, but this spinach is going to cook down so much. So let's add, go ahead and add our spinach in right there. I'm going to stir this around. I'm going to turn off my pan. Should have turned it off a little bit ago. I'll go ahead and turn it off because cast iron is so great. It cooks so fast and it stays heated so long. I might even pull this off the heat because. My spinach is pretty much cooked. So now I've got that nice dark green color. We don't want it to get any darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. I should probably just take it out of the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Bye. So you pull it out of the oven after rotating it once, and then if you can stick a knife in it or fork, pretty smooth, then it's all done. So I'm gonna let this cool off because it's really hot to handle. So next you split the squash in half. Okay, so let me see. And you're going to, oops. Okay, I might have overcooked it a little bit. So I had it roasting for about an hour. My oven cooks really fast. So um, if you want, you can do like 40 minutes, you know. Uh, I really don't time or measure anything if you guys come to know my cooking. To scoop out anything that looks like seeds, all these like seed looking things, you wanna scoop them out. And I just put my trash right below me. And you scoop them out, okay? Um, that's Ella in the background, so. I put her in her crib and she wants to cook. <laughs> so now you're just going to fork out and pull off the noodle parts, just like that. So this one spaghetti squash cost me about $4. It's a really large one, but I mean, there's so much like noodles in here and you're just pulling them apart. I mean, and I pull it all the way down to the rind. So like you just keep pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. And then, okay, I'm just take some tongue, pull that up. I'm gonna add it to my spinach that I separate it out. There. I'm really hungry, so. Yeah, that looks, okay, that might be too much. But it's squash, so who cares? So then I'm going to take this and mix it with my spinach. Yeah, I didn't have that much spinach, as you can see how much it cooked down. And then I heated up some pasta sauce, add that. And I like to mix my stuff, so some people will eat it just like that, but I like to mix it. And then the last step. Okay, and the last step, you just add some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And obviously, if you are a vegan or you're doing things gluten-free, then don't add the cheese. But otherwise, it's ready to enjoy. I'm going to try some, because that's what people who cook do. They try their own food, so. Good. 
I like it. I'll probably put more cheese because I love cheese. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was about to take another bite. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more cooking with KB. Okay, bye.